Hi there, my name's Lauren and I'm an interpreter here at Royal Botanical Gardens. I love going for hikes in the fall, but sometimes I've noticed I've accidentally picked up a little hitchhiker along the way, like this little guy right here. Now this is a burr and it is one sticky seed. Now it's not sticky because it feels like tree sap or honey, it actually feels really prickly but it has a very unique structure that allows it to really easily get stuck to people's clothes or to animals' fur. Let's take a closer look at how these seeds do this. This burr comes from a burdock plant, like the one that you can see here. Burdock blooms in late summer, after which the heads of the plant dry up into these brown spiky balls that we call burrs. The burdock seeds are actually hidden inside the burr, so the burr acts like a suitcase and transports the seeds to a new sprouting location by getting stuck to a passing animal or person. Let's take a closer look at the shape of this burr. I'll zoom in here. Now what do you notice? What at first might look like spikes, we can see that there's actually little hooks on the end of them. Burrs use these small hooks to grab onto your clothes and to animals' fur. This hook mechanism is so effective that it inspired the invention of Velcro, which under a microscope looks almost identical to the structure of burdock you see here. Burdock isn't the only sticky seed you might find this fall. This here is Queen Anne's lace, otherwise known as wild carrot. Now you may have seen Queen Anne's lace in the summer and recognized it for its small white clustered flowers that give it the appearance of lace. Come the fall, the flowers die and the stalks curl up to protect these small oval shaped seeds. Now this one here hasn't quite curled up so much so we can get a really clear view of these seeds. From here, they look almost fuzzy, but let's take a closer look. Here we can see some of the fibers that are giving the seed a fuzzy appearance. Like the burr, these seeds use these little hairs to hook onto passing animals and even people. Now Queen Anne's lace is a member of the carrot family, so let's compare it to some carrot seeds, like ones that you might plant in your garden. Now what do you notice? What looks different? Well, these carrot seeds don't have these same fibers. Carrot seeds aren't sticky, they're smooth. Over time, as people cultivated carrots, they gradually lost their stickiness. Domesticated carrot no longer needs to get stuck to animals in order to find a new sprouting spot because people are planting them. Queen Anne's lace, on the other hand, still needs animals to disperse their seeds, so they still have these sticky fibers. Burdock and Queen Anne's lace are just two types of seeds that use their stickiness for seed dispersal. If you're interested in learning more, we have an activity for you to try out at home. Click the link in this video or visit us at RBG at Home for that and other awesome activities. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you around at Royal Botanical Gardens.